Hey everybody, Comic Hall here. Um, as some of you know, I was in the process of moving recently. Um, hence the lack of videos. My plan was always to do one a week, but with the move and buying the house and everything else, the plans are put on hold. Um, cool thing about it is I, I mentioned in some of my videos I'd be finally getting a man cave. And uh, just thought I'd show off a little bit the man cave, how it's come along, not finished yet. Um, not completely decorated, don't have all our furniture or anything yet, but it's coming along. Thought I'd show what's displayed so far. So here we go. Go right down the stairs here. You take a left. This nice little pine cabinet to where my wife and I have our Disney Vinylmations. Collect these every time we go to a Disney World in Orlando, make sure that we get a few, and then uh, if they have any at Disney stores and, and towns that we're visiting, we make sure to get one or two of them. There, right in the middle, is my R2-D2 Mickey ears that I got right at uh, Disney Hollywood Studios the year that Disney bought Star Wars. So you can see we got Lumiere, we have the, uh, the Siamese Cats from Lady and the Tramp. I believe this one character's name is Daisy. No, it's not right. Daisy's the duck. Yeah, whatever. She's a cow. Um, we get the Menomina guy from the Muppets. Pigs in Space from the Muppets. Dr. Teeth from the Muppets. Electric Mayhem. And we got Hawkeye. And you move on. There's our hat. And then you get the esteemed Admiral Akbar. TIE Fighter Pilot. Lando Calrissian. Han and Endor gear, Yoda, Darth Vader, and little dude from Indiana Jones. Move on to what you have next. Um, like I've mentioned before in my videos, I'm a big pro wrestling fan. I always was growing up. I know it's not for everyone, but I uh, loved it as a kid. Here's a chair that I got um, from sitting in front row at a show that they just did here in my local city a couple weeks ago. Um, main event was Braun Strowman against Samoa Joe against Roman Reigns. Pretty cool chair that you get to keep from the front row. Right above that, we have Macho Man Randy Savage, Defining Moment series. Love this figure. And uh, hooked up with him there is a classic Bret Hart Shades autographed by the Hitman himself. And then we have the. Uh, WWE, or I guess at the time the WWF World Championship. This is the same strap that uh, the design strap that the Triple H, The Rock, Steve Austin all had in their heyday. And then on the opposite end, we have Defining Moments Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania 3, also with some Bret Hart wraparound shades autographed by the Hitman. On the opposite wall, keeping with the pro wrestling theme. We got a frame uh, that my father had done for me. This was um, from our trip to WrestleMania 30 when Daniel Bryan won the world title. This is a newspaper that we picked up the next day. Here is our bracelet to get into WrestleCon. We got to meet Bret Hart, Jim Neidhart, Kevin Nash, Scott Steiner. It's a great trip. Uh, confetti that fell from the ceiling. Um, our tickets to WWE Hall of Fame, Monday Night Raw, and WrestleMania 30 itself. And uh, this is a picture that I took from our seats. You can see there uh, Brock Lesnar going back up the ramp after beating The Undertaker, making him 21-1. and one. Moving on now to the shelf. It's a little dark. I'm going to see if I can get some light on. So this is my shelf that I have. I want each section to be uh, something different that I like. Um, this one's the Marvel Legends shelf. We got Spider-Man from Homecoming with the Toys R Us exclusive Spider-Man and Mary Jane figure. And then to that's left we have uh, the Shocker. I don't know if Shocker's going to stay on the shelf permanently. I got a couple other Legends figures that I think are a little bit cooler looking even though I really love this figure. He was just kind of there as a placeholder. Um, another placeholder just until I get everything moved in is uh, these, these four here. Really cool figures. Um, the entire Ghostbusters lineup. I got these at a dollar store for four dollars each. 
considering I almost bought Peter Venkman alone about a month ago for 20 bucks, I'm happy I held off and got these for. Um, they, uh, they're a build figure as well. You take them out and you connect the Ghostbusters logo. That glows in the dark, which I did not know glows in the dark. So my first night here, I shut all the lights down to the basement to go upstairs and turned around and saw this green thing on my shelf. It freaked me out until I realized that it was the figures glowing. Um, to the bottom of the Marvel Legends figures, we have a DC themed shelf. We have a DC Superpowers 30th Anniversary Superman. And then DC Superpowers 30th Anniversary Batman with a Christopher Reeve Superman Mago that I got um, a couple months back. It's an excellent shape. Here, I'll take it out. Excellent shape. No fraying on the cape. Everything's crisp. Joints are tight. Nothing peeling. No paint marks. This is really, it looks like it's brand new off the shelf. Then we have the shelf of Jericho where we have uh, again pro wrestling themed shelf big fan of Chris Jericho growing up this is ringside exclusive figure from Wrestlemania 19 along with the list of Jericho if uh, any of you are pro wrestling fans I think you guys know what the list of Jericho is below that we have I uh, let my wife take a shelf we have her Harry Potter books with her serious black wand that she got at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando. And then to the left of that, we have the Friday the 13th shelf. See, there we have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Purple Jason from the NES game. Bit of a glare there. We have the Reaction Kenner style Jason, we have uh, Friday the 13th, um, Part 3 and 3D NECA figure. We also have the complete history of Friday the 13th right there. Um, excellent book. It's the um, uh, Crystal Lake Memories. Excellent read. You might be wondering why there's a comic book here that has nothing to do with Friday the 13th. Some of you may have recognized this book. Um, props to you if you do. Friday the 13th, Part 3. There's a scene in which Shelly and Vera go into a store and uh, they get mixed up with some street thugs. In the store are three comic books displayed. I always thought it'd be cool to get those three books. I have the other two, they're just not displayed. Um, this is the one that was front and center. It is Ghosts 112. Um, what I didn't know is that this is a, the very last issue of Ghosts and it's extremely uh, low print. Um, and hard to find. I was lucky enough that a buddy of mine found it for me and knew I wanted it and he uh, purchased it for me as a gift. Um, really good of him to do. Uh, ironically, his name is Joe. Um, but no, it's a really cool book. My idea that I have is if I can make some room on the shelf, I want to get the other two comics uh, out and display them that were in the movie also and display them how they were in the movie, which would be uh, Master of Kung Fu then Ghosts, and then the other master of Kung Fu to the, to the right. Now if you go to the top two shelves, we get some graded books. We've got Showcase, I believe it's 34. First, uh, Ray Palmer Adam. And then we have uh, an early Superboy. This is probably the earliest comic I have. It's a CGC 3.5. Superboy number 17. Um, classic old school DC cover. And then to the left, we have a PGX 4.0, Amazing Spider-Man number 10. Always love this cover. And then to the left of that, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 1, my favorite item in my collection. It's a CGC 2.0. There is some slight restoration, as you see the purple label. But uh, I don't care. I love this book. And then maybe my favorite display area in the basement, my spin rack. This is a magazine spin rack, so I can either put magazine sized books in there, like Treasury Editions or like this Kiss special here, or I can put slab books and they fit great, or I can take regular comics and put them in sideways. I decided just to go with the graded books and a couple of magazine size. Um, we got the Kiss Comics Super Special printed in real Kiss Blood. You've got. Uh, the Fantastic Four, 46, first black bolt behind that. 
is Silver Surfer number one, 7.5. Um, below that, we have Marvel Premier 15, the first Iron Fist. Behind it is Daredevil number eight, a CGC 5.5 for Stiltman. And then we have Iron Fist number one, Wolverine number one, uh, signed by Claremont and Rubenstein, an 8.0. X Men 29 and 27, and then way at the bottom is Preacher number one, CGC 8.0. Give her a bit of a spin. We have Superman vs. Muhammad Ali, the uh, Whitman variant, a couple of DC books, Justice League, uh, Hawkman joins the, the Justice League, uh, All Star Batman, Dallas Fan Expo exclusive, a CGC 9.8, signed by Scott Snyder and Jim Lee. Killing Joke, first print 9.4, Suicide Squad, New 52 9.6. Um, this is the first um, Doomsday 9.4, first Lobo 9.4, and first Modern Suicide Squad 9.6. Um, and then the third section, we have uh, Superman and Spider Man Treasury. I love the art on this cover. We've got, uh, I think I've showed this in a video before. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 700, the Steve Ditko variant. Behind that is Amazing Spider-Man 361 9.4, the first Carnage. Below that we have uh, the first Hobgoblin in 8.5 with the tattoos. A uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 4, Sandman. It's in a wider bag and board so it fits in there. Uh, 9.4, 315. 9.8, Ramos variant number 4. A 9.0 Deadpool 14 first appearance of Ajax or Francis. 9.6 Star Wars 87. And a 9.6 for a high uh, number zero. So yeah, I think it's coming along nicely. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way everything's displaying. The lighting down here is good for this kind of stuff. Not a whole lot of sun that gets in. Um, and just to show you guys what I'm working on, why I've been so busy, I have to organize all of this. Um, these aren't, aren't even all my comic boxes yet. I still have those stored at my parents for now, but I have a few more comic boxes I need to get through. Um, all these bags are filled with comics. All these boxes are filled with comics. Um, need to sort them all. Just a couple things that I have laying around. First Spider, spider Carnage. First Cloak and Dagger. And a uh, Iron Fist number one Raw. So lots of stuff I need to get through, but... It is coming along. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing, like, share, subscribe, do your thing. And uh, I'll be posting more updates as things come along. This has been Comic Call.